So you may have heard about um, going to the bank and um, getting them ordering some half dollars so you can go sort through them and see if you can find anything old or rare. It was a little bit different project here and I had a friend that was looking to make some Christmas ornaments with uh, 2024 ones and uh, unfortunately out of a thousand dollars worth of half dollars wasn't able to find a single 2024 in there. So I, w I went to do some sorting around here. I got two full boxes of $500 each. And what it turned out to be is that one of the boxes was entirely sealed 2023 rolls. So they're all 2023 Ds, brand new, sealed, uncirculated, I'm assuming. So I'm not even going to open those, and I'm just going to go sell them directly on eBay and uh, make a few bucks on those. And we got a whole bunch of just random coins there. These were 195 2023s that were mixed in with the other ones. So there was 195 2023s out, out of the thousand coins in the in the un, the mixed rolls. And out of those mixed rolls, there was also 155 bicentennials. Now, these um, mixed coins here, what I've noticed about most of them is they were mainly from the 70s. I mean, you'd have here and there a couple of them from the 80s. Maybe out of a full roll, you might see one to three out of the 80s, one to three out of the 90s. Pretty much nothing in the 2010s, and I think out of the whole pile, I found maybe four 2021s, 22s, that range. So for the most part, the coins are from the 70s. Now, I was about a third of the way through the box of the mixed coins, and ended up having two scores in the same box. Now, first one here is uh, the 1969. It was like, sweet! Now, that one's got about 40% silver in there, so that recurrently, that's worth about $5 in silver. And a little bit further in that same roll, it came across that one, 1964. Now, that one is about is 90% silver and is worth about $12.5 in silver. So, while... It was kind of a fun thing to go through all these. It wasn't that lucrative. And if it hadn't been for that one roll, I wouldn't have found any. So basically, out of a $500 box of coins, you might find two. That's really about it. So is, is it worthwhile doing this? Probably not. But, you know, if you want to have some fun with... Um, you know, searching through some coins, give the kids something to do, and, you know, something out of a um, you know, cold winter day. But the other thing, too, is since I already sell on eBay, you know, these tend to sell for about a four-pack for about $60. And after fees and shipping, you know, I'll, I'll make something for my time on these. And um, that's my experience with doing this in 2024. Let me know if you've uh, been searching for them lately. Bye.